You know what's crazy? We have cameras now that are capable of shooting in 12K resolution, and yet, we as editors really crave that old nostalgic feeling that we see all the time in the movies, so we'll slap on a whole bunch of effects to emulate a time period where cameras shot with actual potato quality. Now, I've been getting asked a lot if I could recreate a VCR look using Apple Motion for Final Cut Pro. And I've been working really diligently and hard on this to get it looking just right. But then, Motion VFX has to come out of nowhere and say, hey man, hold my beer, I got this. And they just create the most incredible VCR plugin, completely destroying any chance I had of making a decent effect. So in this video, I'm gonna let Motion VFX do the heavy lifting and I'm just gonna take their sweet, sweet sponsorship money and show you one of my most favorite plugins from them, M-Style VCR. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply all of the different effects to get this style going. You'll see there's transitions, there's distortion effects going across the screen, there's really cool looking titles, just a ton of really fun stuff. And to cap it all off, we have this nice frame. So let's go ahead and create that. If I wanted to apply M-Style VCR, I just go on up into my browser by clicking on this icon and we can go ahead and jump inside of our titles. And right here, you'll see M-Style VCR nicely nestled in with all of the other Motion VFX plugins. Firstly, I wanna go ahead and add in some channel aberration. And if we place that on the timeline, you'll see how around the edges, it's actually stretching out the channels, the red and green channels separately, giving us a really cool style. If we wanted further control, we could go on up to our inspector and you'll see that there's actually an animation in and then animation out. So if I push play, you can see how that animates in really nicely. We can also adjust if there's a red aberration layer, we can adjust how far that is stretched out. We can do the same with green and also the blue layers. And at the bottom, we can actually adjust the hue of the footage. So it's really up to you how you want this effect to be applied. I'm gonna go ahead and just stretch this across the entire timeline. The next effect I wanna take a look at is this glitches effect, which looks really nice. So we'll just go ahead and apply that down on the timeline and stretch that out. Out to be the same duration and if we push play you can see how that's kind of glitching out our footage in a really cool way giving us that old VCR vibe. Another effect that I love is this grain effect it really matches that VCR look so let's go ahead and apply that down on top of everything and we'll stretch that out to be the same duration. So now everything's got a nice grain layer but something you'll notice is that our cameras are just too sharp. Older cameras were really soft in the way that they created our images. So we wanna emulate that using yet again, another effect from M-Style VCR. We're gonna go ahead and take a look here at the quality reduction. And I'm gonna actually place that below everything so that we get the grain and the aberrations happening over the top of it. But you can see how it softens the image. It really emulates that VCR look in a nice way. Another effect that I love is this flicker effect. So we'll just place that on top of everything. And pushing play, you can see how it's flickering, again, emulating that VCR look. And finally, the last one I wanna go ahead and play around with is this distortion layer. I just love how this looks. And again, each and every one of these templates has a whole bunch of effects we can adjust here on the right side. We can adjust stuff like the distortion amounts, the distortion ranges. We can adjust stuff like the static highlights and change the color of that distortion, which is really cool. So they give you a ton of control to really get it looking exactly as you want it. But now that we've added in all all of these effects to degrade my footage, something that was really common with VCRs is that there was a four by three aspect ratio, not a 16 by nine. So let's go ahead and emulate that by using this really cool frame effect. And I'll just click and drag that down onto the timeline and expand that out to the entire duration. Now, what I love with this frame effect is that it actually gives me on-screen controls to adjust how large this frame is. So if you wanna make it a little bit wider, you can do that. We could shorten it down, but I actually like what they have by default. Additionally, we can drag up the frame roundness. We can blur the edges to get even a softer look, which looks really nice. There's a frame jitter that we can add on here. So there's just a ton of effects we can apply to really get that nice looking four by three effect. So now that we got our footage looking the way we like, we also want to to have some text that matches this style. And fortunately, M-Style VCR comes with some great text templates. The main one I love is this title. So I'll go ahead and drag that down on the timeline. If I go ahead and select all these layers and hide it with V, you'll see that this title has a really nice intro animation 
and an outro animation which looks really nice plus it's got some nice little subtle glitches on it. I'll re-enable everything but I want to place this title below so that it's receiving a lot of the same effects that we applied to everything else. So that's really integrating it into the scene in a nice way. From there I can go ahead and click and drag it to wherever I want. I could type in whatever I want so I'll just type in M style BCR. We could change the font on it of course. I'll go ahead and use Roboto and we'll make that bold. So that's looking pretty cool in and of itself. We could make that as long as we want or as short as we want. But there's also these other really cool styles like this viewfinder info. So if I place that on top of everything, it's got the little play animation and the date and time. But I want this to go ahead and fit within the frame. So I'll just click and drag that over to using these nice on-screen controls. You can scale everything up or you could even rotate it if you want to and then I'll just apply that underneath everything. So now it's in the shot looking really nice. And then there's also this really cool tag that I love. So I'll just place that near the end. Let's go ahead and write in whatever text we want, change the font on it. And this rectangle will automatically adjust to the size of the text. So if I write something like, you'll see that it's automatically adjusted that rectangle on the outside. And again, let's go ahead and place that underneath all the layers so it integrates it with the scene. And finally, I'm gonna scale it up so you can really read it. So if I push play, you'll see that we've got these nice titles. We've got the frame that's all animated, the flicker going on. It's really giving us a nice look. But the last thing that I wanna cover with M-Style VCR is all of the really cool transitions that it comes with. So to get there, go on over to your transitions panel. You'll see there's stuff like this fast forward option. So if I apply that, take a look at the footage. You'll notice that it actually speeds up into place. So there's actually a bit of speed ramping that goes on, which is really cool. There's this cool glitch transition. There's this great noise transition. And there's also this really cool roll transition, which I like to use at the beginning. And finally, there's also a rewind transition, which I'll place here at the end. So as you can see, this is an enormous pack of effects, which I don't have time to cover each and every single one. But as you know, with Motion VFX, it's just one of the best of the best. If you're interested in picking up M-Style VCR, there is an affiliate link down below. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.